Howdy. In Haltom City, there's a piece of nostalgia. Andrew's newsstand, last of the dinosaurs. It's one of the last newsstands, well... I'm used to being poor. Anywhere. <laughs> Andrew Sansom has been sitting behind this counter for a quarter century. Over the years, business has slowed to a crawl. Ten years ago, I was still doing all right, but I could see the decline. In it's no surprise. Newspapers just don't sell like they used to. And that's why when the parent company of the Fort Worth Star-Telegram filed for bankruptcy, it didn't come as a surprise either. I kind of expected it. You know, I've seen it coming for a while. The Star-Telegram says this will not affect readers and provided a written statement that says the Fort Worth Star-Telegram is operating business as usual. Our readers and subscribers can continue to rely on us for strong, independent local news that is essential to our community. The McClatchy Company, based in Sacramento, filed for Chapter 11 Thursday, estimating its assets at over $500 million, but its liabilities at over a billion. The McClatchy Company's website says it operates 30 newspapers across the country, including the Star T. It's still too soon to say how they'll fare in the long run, but Chapter 11 is essentially a way to restructure an entity's financial troubles. We're obsolete. Something Sansom uh, can relate to. We're going the way of the dinosaur. <laughs> He's already looking to close. He says he'd make more money renting the space than holding on to nostalgia. Change happens whether we like it or not. In Fort Worth, I'm Eric Alvarez.